Hey guys, welcome back to our blog. Is your parents are overprotective? So what's wrong with that? That should parents should do, right? To take care of the kids, but not taking away your independence and confidence. The term helicopter parents was first used in Dr. Hames Ginnett's 1969 book Parents and Teenagers by teens who said that their parents would hover over them like a helicopter. The term became popular enough to become a dictionary entry in 2011. Similar terms include lawnmower parenting, cosseting parenting, or bulldoze parenting. Helicopter parents refers to a style of parents who are over-focused of their children. Welcome back. This episode, I will be talking about helicopter parenting. Helicopter parents are might be the one who at the playground who is supervising all the trips down the slide and always there close by in every softly centers to make sure that they can catch them when they fall. And the helicopter person is always the one who breaks in the fight and settles it between the kids when they are fighting. And a lot of times the helicopter parents are taking to other parents too to make sure that their things are going just so. Many helicopter parents starts with good intentions. It is a tricky line to find to be engaged with our children and their lives, but no so enmesh with the loss of perspective of what they need. Engaged parenting has many benefits for a child such as increased feeling of love and acceptance, building self-confidence, and building guidance and opportunity to grow. The problem is that once parenting becomes governed with fear and decision based on what might happen, it is hard to keep in mind that all things kids learn when they are not right next to them or guiding them step. Failure and challenges Teach kids new skills and most important, teach kids of what they can handle failure and challenges. Now that the kids are getting older, the helicopter parents may turn into personal assistants for their child. They like might be the one to wake up in the morning and make sure that everything's are on their backpacks and they might even kind of parents to go to their teacher and ask for better grades or even project extensions. Now we see this happen time to time and again to primary, junior kids, or even high schooler or college kids. So guess what guys, you don't want to become helicopter parents in this way, right? Just like a young tree, you can really grow in its full potential when it's planted on its shadows and it needs a space to spread out its branches as it's growing. You don't want to raise your kids in the shadow of your helicopter and you need to buck up to let the kids to figure out for herself. Helicopter parents, what you're really doing is rubbing your child an important learning experience, things that they need when they are adults. So children of helicopter parents become to, to be overly dependent and just hardly times when it when it times for when time for them to be on the road. So you know your child's best, depending on the situation, really try to figure it out whether you need to intervene on that particular situation or if your child probably benefit from trying to figure it out for himself. Okay guys, what I'm trying to say here today, the lesson for this blog, don't be a helicopter parent and let your child figure it out things for herself or himself. Remember, there are no perfect parenting, but you can find many great ways to become a good one. Check out my other videos on parenting, and see you next week.